Welcome to Chuck's Creations. Today we're going to be working on this 50cc Chinese scooter where it is no longer driving down the road. So if you need to work on this, you're probably going to want to watch this. We're going to start out by taking the clutch uh, belt cover off here. These are 8mm bolts. They are all the same except for one. And I will point out the one bolt that is different a little bit later in the video. The kickstart doesn't really need to come off, but I took it off anyway because I thought that it was in the way of the center stand. and It can actually stay on there. So as I get the cover off, you'll be able to see there's some chunks of rubber in there. And a little bit of clue coming up is to some later problems right here the belt is wedged in the clutch itself and it looks like it rode inside of the clutch for a minute while it was coasting or something oh. happened there so the belt is chewed Looking up fresh. definitely got to have another belt lovely and that's what's about to happen okay the centrifugal clutch nut is 13 millimeter I don't have my tools, so I'm at the mercy of what I have to work with here. And you're going to see the extreme that I went to to get this loose. Shake hands, the danger. While this method worked, it was uh, just short of a miracle, I think, really. And so the uh, variator in the front is a 17 millimeter. And there's no real way to hold on to it. It's on the end of the crankshaft. There's a plastic nut on the other side of the motor. So, I've got to make a trip, and I go get an impact gun. It's pretty much what's got to happen. It turns this job and makes it super short as far as getting these two nuts off. It's almost a must-have. I don't take the variator apart. I don't need to. I can hear everything's working behind it. So, I squeeze the pulley back, get the belt as deep into the clutch pulley as I can, What's really critical here is these are splines on the end of the crankshaft. And so the center of the starter gear slash half of the variator pulley, it is really critical that you get those splines started nice and square. Because if you don't and you just hammer it on there, you're going to regret it. You're going to have to buy some parts or, or do something crazy. So just make sure those splines are, are lined up good before you crank it down. It's a tight fit, but the starter gear does fit in there. And we're going to put the cover on. There's one bolt, and it is this bolt right here. It has a drain tube to the carburetor. It is slightly longer than all the other bolts. So that is the only different bolt here. Other than that, tighten them all up. You're good to go. Appreciate you guys watching the video. There will be a follow-up on this. And I'll see you guys next time.